Sunday, July 7th, 2024. Yep, you guessed it, back of the dacha. But today I am not working. I just came here to water the greenhouse and just look in, take care of a few things. But I have an important announcement for you. It's summertime, so I'm going on vacation. And I'm going to be heading out to Canada. So I'll be leaving in a few days. So I'm not going to be posting for a little while. I'll see. Maybe I'll post something from Canada. I'm going to go visit my family, my sisters, my mother, my friends, aunts, uncles. Just hang out and uh, spend some time with my Canadian side of the family. Ever since I moved to South Korea back in 2002, every summer I would make a point of returning to my hometown and uh, spend some time with my family. Now that I'm living in Russia, I do the same thing. I travel to Canada. This will be my second summer that I'm making a point of going to see my family in Canada. So... While I'm going to be there, I want to do some cool things. In the previous videos, the ones that I posted from last summer when I was in Canada, and I only had about four or five of them, I had some comment, feedback, from the people that were watching that were amazed with uh, not only the Russians that live there, but the kind of Russians. So basically my forefathers immigrated from Russia to Canada in 1899. So having lived there for 125 years, we've kept our Russian traditions, language, food, culture, but the language is a little bit different. So it's evolved. Uh, it's a mixture of Russian, Ukrainian, Georgian, and English. So what does that mean? Russian, Ukrainian, Georgian, and English mixed in. Well, uh, this goes back a long way. But uh, the Dukabors originally were from Russia, but then they were uh, resettled to the Ukraine, or the, the area that is now Ukraine, and lived there from around 1750 to 1841, I believe. And then in 1841, once again, they were uprooted and sent to the Republic of Georgia, or Georgia, as it was called back then. And then in 1899, we immigrated to Canada, 7,500 of us. Out of a total, I think it was over 50,000 that actually had the opportunity, but 7,500 choice chose to come. So we... Settled in Canada, and um, where does the English come in? Well, only knowing uh, the Russian language, some of it was picked up also in Ukraine. Like, for example, we have a softer, мы говорим, мы не говорим, and we say швидко instead of быстро, stuff like that. Some of the Georgian words, for example, we say lobia, we don't say fasol. And what about the English words? Well, when we came in 1899, it was before the airplane or the mass production of cars and trucks and stuff. So when the first airplane flew overhead, I don't know, the early 1900s, somebody probably looked up and said, what is that? And uh, they probably went and talked to an English-speaking Canadian neighbor, and the neighbor said, airplane. Well... We didn't have any Facebook, Google, whatever, to go check it out on the internet. Um, so when we heard airplane, what did we call it? Samolyot, like it's called in Russia? Self-flying plane? No. We called it aeroplan. Get it? Airplane, aeroplan, instead of samolyot. When we saw, let's say, a pickup truck, did we call it a gruzovik? No, because that's what they called it in Russia. We called it truck. Why? Because the English people in Canada called it a truck. We just rolled the R, truck, truck. So there it is. Um, there's where the English words have been brought in. 
into our Russian language. So there's Ukrainian and Russian and Georgian and English and put it all together and we have our own Dukbar dialect. I want to interview some people back home in Canada and I just want to show the rest of the world of how we speak in Canada our Russian Canadian type of Dukbar dialect. So I want to do that. I also want to do another interesting thing. I want to do some price comparisons. So last year when I was in Canada, I went to three large supermarkets and I took down the prices of probably 100, 150 different items. And I videotaped them. And I thought that I was going to come back to Russia and I was going to videotape what the prices are like here in the Russian supermarkets and do a comparison. But somehow I didn't do that. And then a couple of months ago, I decided, you know, what would be really cool is go back to those same three supermarkets and find those same items and see how much the price has changed in a year. So last year it was, I believe, July 7th of 2023. Now, today is July 7th. So if I was going to do an exact 365 day, Today should be the day that I'm videotaping, but obviously not doing it. But I'll be about a week, week and a half off. I'll go back and uh, we'll see. So even though this channel is not about politics or whatever, and I do try to stay away as much as I can, in this case, I guess I can make an exception because from what I hear, people back home, my Facebook friends are saying that, you know, Inflation is going up and it's higher yet. Our Canadian government is saying, no, 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 inflation is at check. Well, let's go check and see uh, if it is at 2, 3, 4%, or is it at 15, 20%? I don't know. Let's see the prices of the exact same items one year apart. Oh, another thing that I want to do is uh, I want to show some of the historical areas that we have in my hometown that are related to the Dukovars, the Russian Canadians that moved into the area. We have some old buildings, um, some of them are museums now, um, that have a very Georgian, Southern Russian architecture style to them. So I wanna show you guys that. And uh, what else do I wanna do? Just show my mom's garden, uh, you know, it's not any much different than the gardens that are out here in the Dutchess. The only thing is, is that my mom's garden does not have the gratke or the raised beds. My mom just has the long straight rows of whatever it is, potatoes, corn, peas, stuff like that. Okay, so there it is, all in a nutshell. And uh, I hope you can understand that I'm not going to be posting anything for the next little while, but uh stick around and uh i don't know if you see that i'm posting something obviously it's going to be from canada don't forget to leave a comment uh if you're not a subscriber this is probably the best time to start subscribing because there's going to be some pretty cool videos coming up and hopefully there'll be more than three or four that i did last year if you're interested in kind of getting a head start scroll through my videos Okay, so we're, I think this video is number 286, 287, something like that. You would have to go back to one year ago, which we were somewhere around low 100s or something like that. Anyways, and you can scroll through and you can see what my hometown looks like and whatnot. Anyways, I got to go. Take care and paka paka. See you from Canada.